Everything goes white I can feel the breeze Euphoric delight Only you and me So today's our first official day in Japan and we are currently staying in Tokyo but we took a two and a half hour train ride from Tokyo to Kyoto and then a 45 minute train ride from Kyoto to Nara which is basically the capital for Japanese deer. So what we're gonna be doing today is feeding them, going to the deer park, getting something to eat. Uh, we left the house at like, I think 7.30 and it'd be like 1 p.m. now. So we're excited. Oh, it's hot. I'm literally wearing a thermal, my sweater, and my aloe jacket, plus two thermal leggings and a sheer pair of like Columbia pants. And I'm sweating. I believe it's like 40. Oh my god, I see a deer! Guys, we're gonna go meet some deer, y'all. So, <gasps> I'm so excited. They're there. They look like big old, I was gonna say biscuits. That, 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 that also doesn't make any sense. I feel like when I'm in these situations when I'm really excited, my brain is rewired to not properly function. Don't mind me, it's gonna be a little chaotic. So, oh my god, let's get started. <laughs> That's so cute. Not this random pigeon over here. Oh, 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 oh. I saw the whole thing. I'm ready. Come on, Connie, hurry up. I'm gonna give you the whole thing. You're doing a really great job. Are you strong? You're right. You're not the one. You know how to get fit. No. Make them bow, Connie. Make them bow. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I'll give it to you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't panic. Watch out. You gotta chew on the bottom. That's what I've been waiting for. Content at home. I can't do it. 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 I really like you. You're my favorite. I love you. I was freaked out because they came at me. But only three though. I'm just, I think I'm just easily scared. So, yeah. yeah. So cute. So we just finished up and now we're walking back um, to the main area. It was so much fun. I gotta say I was low-key scared in the beginning because I just, I don't do well with animals like a lot of them. So, I freaked out a little bit in that last week low-key embarrassing but after a while like oh, being able to pet them and like just hang out with them was just so nice and cute and they're just I think they know that we just magically always feed them so they're so used to human interaction there was no entrance fee it was free you just have to buy the sunbay which are like cookies that you feed the deer and it was only two dollars technically maybe a little less um, but yeah now we're just gonna go get some food um, and spend the rest of our day in Kyoto They gave us this little side dish of noodles. I don't know what it is, but it looks good. How do I run into a soba noodle? Mmm, this is really delicious. These were $5.98. 
Look how fresh they look. This is my main bowl. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm just gonna take a bite and I'm gonna enjoy the thing on my own. Oh my god. This is so buttery. So fresh. It's butter. I can eat those. I realize now. I don't mind the texture and like the. It doesn't have too much of a fishy taste. That's why. So, even the rice is just so delicious. Okay, so we just made it to Fushidi Inari Shrine. Apologies if I butchered it, but we spent a lot of the time on, on a train um, getting everywhere. Oh my god, I look swollen. You look beautiful. I love Jerby. Um, so we're just gonna wander around for a little bit, uh, maybe explore a little bit of Kyoto before we head back to Tokyo. And yeah, so. Oh my god, those clothes are so scary. Yeah, it is now fairly cold. It was warm earlier when we were in Nara, but now that we've gotten to this shrine, it's freezing days. So, we're just gonna quickly walk around, enjoy and experience the shrine, and maybe head back for dinner. Oh, it's chilly. Getting your photos taken. Little do you know it's freezing yiddies out here. We used to have each other's playlists. Were horses that big back then? Everything that it goes lined yeah. up like right here. Oh and here's the thing. Not that high. I need to work out more. I was walking up those stairs. I'm low key out First time trying a foolish and this thing is dank. It's so good. We're currently on the bullet train. And we just grabbed some sex from the convenience store because this is a two and a half hour ride, so we're just gonna unwind, relax, and enjoy ourselves. But hell yeah. I get why people get this and the hype. It's like the consistency of this. There's like ice bits in it and the vanilla flavor is just off point. I might get another one tonight, but we'll see. But I also got some other snacks. for a two and a half hour bullet train ride from Kyoto to Airbnb, which is in Shinokubo station. Um, we told ourselves that we weren't gonna eat a meal, but then we walked by a restaurant and we're like, oh, we're gonna eat, cause it's five dollars for food. Like, I'm gonna just show you what Tiana ordered right now. Tiana, what did you order? Can you tell the people? I don't even know. Some kind of udon. She ordered udon. And how, much, how much did it cost? This is curry, actually. This was four dollars. Look at that big old bowl. And then we got curry, Jack and Jack curry. I think this is five. Yeah. And then I think Chanel also got it on too. But she didn't know she thought she got curry too. Yeah. So it's literally like 10 p.m. right now. We literally said we were gonna eat and go back to the BB because we do have to pack our stuff because we basically the BB owner gave us the wrong room to go into, so we got to move our stuff. So we're just gonna get a little we're gonna get a little pre-game snack at this really cute little shop right next to our place that we're standing in. So yeah, I'm just stuffing myself to eat because we're in Japan, so why not? I'm sorry, I'm like a little delirious right now. We woke up at 5.30 a.m. and it's 10 p.m. now, so. We did it. I'm a little freaking deep tired. So I believe this is chicken egg donbori. Oh, she be hot steaming. 
like how grandma is. Really? So I have an ugly ankle and I look crusty as crap, so. Cheers. Oh, that's good. I'm hungry now. I can eat the whole thing. I told myself I wasn't hungry, but once I start eating, I eat like a freaking person with like five stomachs. Oof, the chicken can be buttery. Tastes like a steak. Like, or like the texture of a steak. Because you know how chicken like could relatively be dry? Yeah. This is like the juiciest and butteriest chicken I've had in like my whole life. Am I exaggerating? No. And it's like charred, you know? Like look at that. It's like it has that good charred royal flavor. Okay, so we're all gonna go eat now. And um, we'll catch up with you guys at the game, mm -hmm. I guess. But I want to say, this is two days post facial, and my skin be skinning. Like, I am shocked with how soft. And I mean, my whole facial, the whole point was to get it hydrated, right? So like, it did its job. Like, part of me really wishes that I got the other um, things done. It's so baby soft. It hasn't. It normally has like some kind of texture to it, but like. I feel as if it's been stripped away and I've been given a newborn baby skin. I mean, except for my eye bags, minus the eye bags because they didn't really do anything. Okay, so we are heading to Team Fun today. It's actually a Toyota station, um, which is kind of like this rural warehousey district. And we didn't eat yet, so we had to kind of walk around. It's eating currently in a station. And it's packed to the brim, and it's so busy. Um, but we found this little curry shop where we can all kind of sit down at a counter and eat. So it's pretty affordable. I got a, ordered a beef curry for 700 yen, which is about seven dollars. And there's like sushi places that are charging like 40 bucks. So I'm like, eh, it's a little too pricey for what we're going on. Oh, guys, this smells so dang. Like, oof, we gotta have cabbage, we have our rice, and then our beef curry right here. So I'm so excited to eat, y'all. The curry be thick and it'd be flavorful. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I love how hot it is because it's kind of cold outside. Yeah. Oh, it's like that was like dang. I like it just have to do waiting outside for our reservation spot to start um, it goes by every half an hour increment you're supposed to also book online and reserve in advance that way you don't have to like actually no I think you have to reserve in advance in order to get here anyway so that's something you should definitely book online um, so yeah also one more thing that we didn't know for some exhibits or I don't know how many exhibits are in there that will have water knee high and it's literally winter so we're all wearing like leggings and all different kind of covered clothing to live in this weather so um we'll see how that goes so yeah we're just currently waiting right now so it's finally our turn and we got to our locker area so we had to just take off our shoes and put away our stuff no free feet content y'all um but i had no expectations like i didn't know what to expect from this team lab planet experience but i just want to say like it was sensory like we started off walking in a water hallway and you guys might be concerned like oh my god everybody's feet but this water is actually to sanitize um so here we are in the next exhibit again this is where all of our senses are ignited where we have you know see hearing touching feeling you know everything i think i said that twice but it was just so phenomenal i love this part just so an fyi though it does get pretty crowded and the team does try to move you along because everyone does try to stick around to take photos in this exhibit um but yeah i could probably stay here all day and this one, using projectors and lights, they've created like a replica, like a fish pond and a koi pond with like flowers that are just floating in the water. And oh my God, this was just heavenly. I didn't realize how much of a sensory girl I was until I went to this museum. And uh, this admission was only $24 and it was well worth, like they should be charging more to be honest. Because again, this experience was absolutely phenomenal and I don't know where I could have gotten this in America. Like, I'm sorry. And it, it was just so much fun. Like the thought, the creativity, like that they used to curate these exhibits, a thousand out of 10. Because 
I just felt like it was in another world, which is, I think, the whole point. It's like out of the world experience. Like even just this room projector of like all these flowers that were going cascading onto the wall and stuff like that. It was like a dome, and oh my god, it was just so great. Like you can, this exhibit, like you can smell stuff too. It's like a pretty earthy scent, and. Oh my gosh, guys, you guys have to visit. If you guys are in Japan, they also have these in other parts of the world too, so I hope to visit the other ones as well, but I, this was probably one of my most memorable experiences in Japan, and I'm so glad that、um, we booked this. So be sure to book in advance and read some of the things online that you should know beforehand. There's not really much, but yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> We're currently in Shinjuku now after going to Team Labs Planet, and we're just looking for a camera store, and then looking for dinner.、Um, I'm not even gonna count. Transportation here has been the most confusing thing I've ever done in my entire life, and I'm not even navigating.、Um, so just be wary of that if you guys want to come here. If you guys already have come here, how y'all been doing it? Cause it's confusing. So we're hoping to buy a few film cameras, some film here. Not too sure how expensive it's going to be. I'm really curious to see what the pricing is, considering Ring Film has inflated so much since it kind of blew up on TikTok.、Um, so we'll go ahead and go there, get some dinner, hang out for a little bit, and then we're going to start our morning early tomorrow since we're going to Sakichi's Fish Market. So yeah, I'm ready to eat. Gonna be getting some ramen this evening. No, it's pepper. Oh, can I explain what you ordered? Menma. I don't know if it's like a side dish or I'm just gonna add it into my ramen. Though. I mean, that looks like bamboo or pink mushroom. Mmm. Bro. Wow. Too sour. What is that? Daikon. Like, yeah. I don't even know. This is ginger. This is such a cute container. I want it. Maybe it's pickled ginger. I like how it has a blue name. These are just pickles. Because it's. I've never even tried before. So we got all of our food, and it looks and smells so good. It's so good. Really? Are you guys just saying that? No. Why would I say that? Just because we're starving. <laughs> oh, no, but、oh, this is her favorite. It's like a bit. I'm in reach. Okay. Time to. Yeah. I do love thick noodles, and the broth looks so yummy. Hmm. I'm in heaven. This is actually so good. I'm so glad you guys wanted this. <laughs>、mm. Wow, that is such good broth. Mmm. Mmm. Can you really taste the pork? Yeah. It's so yummy. Oh, this is. Oh my god, this is really good. It's really good. This is really good. Like, Oh yeah, my ramen was like seven ninety plus the gyoza, which is like three ninety eight. I mean, I wouldn't get it. Oh, I got, I got two eggs. You want one? This was only eleven dollars for this bowl of noodles and gyoza. Oh, with only eleven all together. Yeah. Oh, flavorful. I'm not a big ramen girl, but this. I'm not a big ramen. This is a game changer. 